So welcome to part 4 of this tutorial which is also the last part of this tutorial and on this video we're just going to um, add colors, add patterns to our sweater so that it's pretty. The software that we're going to be using here is going to be Photoshop and you can also use GIMP or Paint.net um, but I choose this one because this is the one that has a DDS plugin. So the DDS plugin that I'm talking about is this one, which is um, NVIDIA Texture Tool 3.0. This is the one that I have and this is the, um, the most updated version that they have. So without this, um, your pattern or the pattern that you wanted to put on your shirt is not going to work. So you really need to have the DDS plugin for your Photoshop or GIMP or BBPaint.net. Alright, so first of all, we need to find the um, image that we just saved earlier, you know, the one that we baked in Blender. So let's go ahead and find the folder first, which is this, render, and it's going to be this one, bakea.o, bakeao.png. So it's going to be like a PNG file. And first of all, what we need to do is duplicate this file or this layer, and then alpha lock it. And then we need to paint white over it. So let's just go ahead and do that first. So there, like that. All right. So once that's done, we need to select all of it and then cut Control X. So go back to this panel and go to channels and then add another layer, which is alpha one. And then Control shift b which is Paste Special, and there's the pattern right there. So what we need to do next is hide this. So just select this, the RGB um, layers. And then go back to Layers and delete that highlighted layer out there, like that. Now we wanted to, wanted to duplicate this again. And then put that underneath. So we can rename the first layer here shadow because this is actually the layer that's going to be on top of everything because we're going to need those, those, you see those, um, what do you call this? You see those folds? That is what we need to get. Okay, so now if you only wanted to, uh, what do you call this? If you only wanted like plain colors, like for example, purple like this. So let's hide the shadow first and then paint purple on top, like that. No? So unhide that and then select this or click this thing right here. This, I think this is a mask or whatever. And then you can play around with it. Just make sure that you're selecting the, light, the right layers. So you can play around with it. You can select these things right there. You can change it to color dodge or whatnot I think this works so good see okay so I think that is actually working so what you want to do next is I think it's best if we smooth the um, those folds so use your smudge tool Make sure that you're on the right layer and alpha lock it so that it doesn't move so much. I mean when you paint or when you smudge it. So you can do that so that you can make it smoother. Like that. Actually I should try to use the pen here one time but I can't. Like that. So this this is okay now. So if you just want this kind of color, that that's fine. So what you need to do is save a copy and then here save as type select Nvidia or DDS this one. So let's rename this um purple. Now this is what um you need to pay attention so just click save and then this will show up so here you need to select 
interpolated alpha or dxt pi there you go and then then just leave it like that i don't touch anything there but this which is the interpolated alpha which is the dxt pi okay and then press save so let's go back to our s4s this so go to texture and then in the fuse let's import that file let's go back to sweater render if it's not showing there select dds and there you have it there's our sweater see that that's our sweater right there it's not shiny I, actually i don't like it when it's shiny because this is a sweater <laughs> but some some people they do like it when it's shiny now let's okay. say that you wanted um, some pattern or pictures or whatnot on your sweater and you just don't want a plain color on it so here's what we're gonna do of course we're gonna do the same thing but this time we're gonna add another layer and then we're gonna go ahead and find an image that has a pattern on it like these ones right here so maybe I wanted to use you know what I think I like this let's try this there so what you want to do is copy that select all first and then we're gonna add that in this layer right here there so let's remove the shadows first so that we can see what we're working on so you wanted to move this pattern on on your on your shirt so control T to resize it like that and of course we only want that on some of the the pattern too no so let's just copy that and paste it over there all right so for the sleeves I actually want that to be uh, um, what do you call this uh, not this but just a plain color so let's select a plain color here maybe this right. okay now let's paint I'm oh, sorry let's paint over this like that and then I want this the, the garter for the sleeves to be a little darker maybe this there you go so once you did that or once that's done merge those two layers because we don't we only need one merge that and then right click and select create clipping so that's gonna be on top of the patterns all right and then let's click that shadow again and then now the shadow let's change the mask colors one more time usually color dodge works but I feel like it's too bright this time so let's do but we want to make sure that those folds are visible that's why I think color dodge will work but for some reason it's not working here right so let us go ahead let's use color dodge and then edit it here Okay, I think that is that works. I think this works. Okay, so let's go ahead and import this on our Sims 4 Studio. So let's go ahead and save a copy again, and of course select DDS, and then this one we are going to rename this whatever. Let's just do squares. <laughs> there you go save 
this will show up again make sure that it's an um interpolated alpha or the xt5 and then save and then let's import that here see there is our sweater isn't she lovely so here's what we're gonna do let's go ahead and save that copy the s4s sweat um package once more one more time and then add that to our mods folder just replace the one that we used that we added earlier in that folder so let's go ahead and open the sims okay hello people so here is what our shirt looks like in the sims i think she is really gorgeous actually so now we know that that worked we can now add more swatches in it we can add more designs or whatever whatever you want to do so basically that is how I make clothes for my sims and I'm really glad that this actually turns out really really well I like how it looks like <laughs> I know it's not shiny um, I'm still um, trying to figure out how to do normal diffuse um, normal specular and shadow maps and once I know how to do that I will make a video tutorial on how to do it like seriously um, so yeah once again this is Jackie and I really do hope that you guys enjoy this video <laughs> and i hope you learned something from it all right so yeah thanks again for watching and i hope you guys have a wonderful day bye